has been nothing less than a roller coaster ride, I won't be wrong. Really, with so many beautiful memories to cherish, with so many learnings, this year has taught us in all possible ways and prepared us for the next year and probably for a lifetime. Today, on behalf of our center head, Ms. Shamima Ajmal, and the school management, I, Shreja Anup, feel extremely honored to have the opportunity to welcome you all. We have gathered at the annual day celebrations of our school to celebrate our success, show our talent, and be grateful for our fortune. I extend a cordial welcome to our guest, Mr. Gopakumar, who is the principal of the Horizon School. With great splendor and joy, we extend our warm welcome to you, sir. To run this institution of this magnitude, to, uh, we need dynamic leadership. We have our energetic and passionate center head, Ms. Shamima Ajmal. We joyfully welcome you, ma'am. There is no friendship, no love like that of the parent for their child. With heartfelt gratitude, we welcome our dear moms and dads who are our biggest support. Your presence is highly esteemed. We cherish your love in all our actions. Dear lovable parents, welcome to the celebration. A teacher revives the past, creates the present, and streamlines the future for the children. We take this opportunity to welcome our dear teachers who chisel and shape the lives and mold the blooming flowers of our garden to be good citizens of the society. We welcome you with grateful hearts. A warm smile is the universal language of kindness. Behind every success are great people who do common works uncommonly well. We would like to welcome our non-teaching staff for their continued support. We welcome you, dears. The magic, the wonder, the mystery, and the innocence of a child's heart are the seeds of creativity that will heal the world. Yes, dear students, you are God's gifts. Your cuteness, frankness, innocence, uniqueness always decorate this great institution. A warm welcome to you also. Once again, we take immense pleasure in welcoming all the luminaries present here, parents, teachers, for being with us and making this event a spectacular one. Have a joyful evening. Now let's begin this beautiful evening with school prayer and poem. Dear Almighty, in your strong hands, I place my life today, choosing to depend on you to guide and guide my way. Help me reach the heights of life and keep me humble in every walk of life. Protect my family, teachers and friends from all the evils of each day. Thank you Almighty for all your blessings upon me once again today. My spring was my dream. I start my day with a promise to hold good. My best for good. My values are spring good. My mentors are my teachers, but they are my friends too. I hold their hands with respect, with trust and confidence too. I know today my mission as spring good is clear. To listen, learn and absorb. And question without fear. There are times when I may wonder why clouds are out here. I show them with my values to the right path I was here. My students and my dreams are born. Today I promise this with the very song. Now let's welcome our tiny tots, our budding stars who are here to mesmerize us with their first ever stage performance. Welcome dears. Please give them a big applause.
That was a splendid performance by our LKG students. Nothing is more simple than greatness. Indeed, to be simple is to be great. And that's exactly how we can define our young and dynamic director, Mr. Samir Hassan. He is a commercial director of Crown Holdings Incorporation, Middle East and Africa. An engineer by profession, he also holds an MBA from the University of Hull. He has chosen to balance his professional life with an active social engagement in the field of school level education in India. Unfortunately, Samir sir was not able to join us physically due to his prior appointment. But let's uh, welcome Mr. Samir Hassan on screen. On behalf of the Springwood family, a very warm and hearty welcome to each and every one of you to this year's annual day for function. It's been indeed a while since uh, a function of this sort has been organized by the school, but in the last two years has actually, as all of you know, been such a roller coaster of a ride for all of us. Uh, before we proceed, I'd like to just offer uh, our thoughts and prayers to all those who have endured, you know, untold suffering that have that beset us, our families, our loved ones, near and dear, as the plague of this virus took its effect on a lot of us. Uh, the fact that we're able to have this function today is probably a testament, I guess, of the collective wisdom of our sciences and the resilience of our people. I think before we also continue, it's important for us to reflect. I'm sure most of you would have reflected in some sort of, the, of, of fashion of what actually the last two years have meant to each one of us as parents as children, as teachers, mentors, I think COVID has taught us so much. Other than the fact that we suffered, I think there's also been a lot of opportunity. The fact that you know you and I are able to talk to each other through the medium of a screen, um, whereas in the past, the video chats were probably the realms of young teenagers who wanted to do so in the middle of video games, or expatriates, uh, children talking to parents and grandparents to, to, to bridge the, uh, the gaps uh, between the Gulf Americas and India. Today it's become a way of life for all of us, be in the office, be at home, etc. Uh, I strongly believe that communication has been better, but then there are other people who say otherwise. Uh, we all believe that, you know, we could never ever continue education through the medium of a screen but our mentors at Springwood, our children at Springwood and parents like yourselves have proved otherwise. So I think COVID has also helped us to dispel a lot of beliefs that we thought before was impossible. So I think therein lies what I would call my personal reflection, that nothing is impossible and that we've proved ourselves that resilience is indeed part of a genetic norm that all of us human beings are born with. It's just that we do not very often tap into it. And I think the best version of ourselves are yet to come and we just need to continue to strive towards that. The annual day function at Springwood has always been a very, very favorite uh, occasion for us and I'm sure for most of you because uh, it shows the skills, but it also shows the passion, not just of our children, but our mentors, uh, the parents. It becomes a, an occasion where all of us celebrate uh, our skills, our goodwill, and above all, a theme that normally resonates to what is prevalent to that particular team. Shamima and her uh, team, I'm sure, are going to give you a um, a function that, uh, or an occasion, or a presentation that you'll definitely remember for a long time. Uh, so I don't want to take a lot of uh, screen time, so to speak, but would rather just want to. Uh, impress upon yourselves and remind myself about what is important when it comes to educating our children. As parents, you have an important role to play. As mentors and and the Springwood family, we have an important role to play. You've placed uh, uh, your trust on our children, on your uh, uh, to to you know help them go from here to here. Uh, but in doing so, I just wanted to re-emphasize what education and gaining knowledge truly means, at least to myself. And I think it is quite relevant to the times of today. 
I often quote uh, this uh, uh, a person called William Martin. Uh, I'm a big fan of a poem that he wrote long back, and in fact, I think I've also uh, uh, put it in one of the diaries or calendars or one of the you know literature that we often circulate in school. Uh, it's about ordinary lives. Uh, I like to read that verse again to all of you today, just to remind yourselves uh, and us and me on what I think is important when we take our children and hold their hands through the journey of education. Uh, it says, do not ask your children to strive for extraordinary lives. Such striving may seem admirable to some, uh, but it is the way of foolishness. Help them instead to find the wonder and the marvel of an ordinary life. Show them the joy of tasting tomatoes, apples and pears. Show them how to cry when pets and people die. Show them the infinite pleasure in the touch of a hand and then make the ordinary come alive for them. The extraordinary, I assure you, will then take care of itself. Simple words, but for me, this has very, very deep resonant meaning. Uh, in our aim to give our children what we believe is the best and intentions are never the worst, especially when it comes to parents, we often forget that children ought to be children. Let us not thrust our aspirations onto them or our perceived failures as a recipe for success for them. We have to allow our children to grow the way they they believe they can and just to be the best versions of themselves. And believe me, like Mr. Williams said, you will find that extraordinary lives set upon them when they just try to be the best versions upon themselves. On that note, I'd like to uh, leave you all today. Uh, I wish you the best in your lives. I sincerely pray and hope that we've seen the end of this uh, miserable tragedy that's beset all upon us. And I hope that the lessons that we've learned from the last two years will, will re remain etched in our memory for a long time. And that we, just like I mentioned before, just continue to become the better version of ourselves. Thank you, Jay Hint. That was really inspiring, sir. Thank you for your enlightening words. We will definitely try our best to make the ordinary come alive for our children. Thank you once again. Integrity, insight, and inclusiveness are the three essential qual qualities of leadership. The quote above said is very much apt to our center head, Ms. Shamima Ajmal. You are a person of great innovation. You show motherly love, give fatherly confidence. Your endless care, guidance, and support prove that you are a great leader. We are really blessed to have a center head like you. With a thankful heart, we welcome you, ma'am, on the stage. If we look around, I think the hall is almost full. And this is exactly the reason why we restricted the numbers to just two from a family. Uh, we all have started living a very normal life and we believe the pandemic is over and the virus is gone. But the truth is we, uh, since the time we started the school, uh, we have had every week around six to seven children falling sick. Some tested positive for the COVID virus as well. So we cannot take it very lightly when it comes to the security and safety of our parents and our grandparents, which is the sole reason we emphasize that the numbers will be strictly just two from a family. Otherwise, we would love to see a hall jam-packed. Who wouldn't want to perform and see our children perform uh, in an audience that's full? So I hope uh, you would understand that and forgive us for the strict action that we took. A very good evening to all the wonderful parents, my dear students, my teachers, our esteemed guests, 
and uh, friends and family, our well-wishers who are present here today. At the onset of this beautiful evening, I would like to uh, thank God Almighty who has created one more opportunity once again for uniting us under this roof which has witnessed uh, many successful events over the past few years. I would like to warmly welcome uh, um, Dr. Salman Salauddin, who's not just a parent, uh, but a wonderful, uh, of wonderful students studying at Springwood, three of them, but a passionate doctor by profession. He's not here just as a parent, but also as a representative of uh, Salauddin Sir, our director, whose absence he fills in today. A very warm welcome to you, sir. I would also like to welcome Mr. Gopakumar, the principal of the Horizon School, who has always been a great support to Springwood Primary. He's someone who truly believes in imparting knowledge and not keeping knowledge to himself when it comes to any help that we seek from him as the principal of the Horizon School. A warm welcome to you, sir. As we conclude yet another um, academic year successfully, we are delighted to have this uh, evening uh, where we will present the uh, annual event. And just like Mr. Samir Hassan, our director, who spoke just now, it was wonderful to have that lovely uh, message from him. He has been an instrumental part, instrumental part of Springwood Primary in the initial years. He has literally mentored all of us, especially me, Whenever I felt maybe I can't make it and I wouldn't be able to do this task as, uh, or live up to their expectation, it was his words of motivation that kept us going. So I'm very grateful to our director, Samir Hassan, uh, for sharing those wonderful thoughts with us today. As he rightly said that the events of Springwood aren't just about showcasing the talents and the skills of our students but it's also a work, a teamwork that's put together with thorough passion. What you see is not just singing and dancing. What you see is a lot of mind, heart and soul put together to bring about or to impart a poignant message to both our children and our parents. So today's theme is to embrace change. And before I begin, I would like to thank my wonderful teachers who switched on to an entirely different mode of teaching in the past two years. They didn't shy away, they stood there like warriors and they imparted their duty with sheer determination, passion, love, even though they knew that every minute they would be evaluated by the parents. So hats off to the teachers of Springwood who have done a fantastic job and continue to do. My wonderful parents whose continued support is the sole reason for the success of this school. And above all, I believe one of the biggest strength of the school's success, apart from having a wonderful team and a supportive parent, is having a management that entirely believes in the team that they appoint and trust our, our decisions and facilitate the execution of every single uh, decision that we take in the best interest of our students. The beauty of Springwood's success lies in the fact that the vision and mission of the school management resonates with each and every staff working towards it. I thank our management for the unconditional support that they give us in nurturing the students at Springwood. So today I want to take this opportunity to share a simple yet a very insightful anecdote that has left my, uh, that has truly opened my eyes and to, it, it's heartbreaking to, re to realize this reality which we often fail to notice. Like our director Mrs. Samir Hassan mentioned, this pandemic has given all of us a lot of time to reflect. Each one have, would have surely reflected on many things. And one thing that touched my heart is what I'm going to share today. Uh, so during the lockdown or before that, uh, I had a domestic help uh, who I call only when, it is, uh, when my regular help doesn't come. So when it was lockdown, obviously most of us couldn't call them. And um, I happened to call her after one and a half years of the lockdown was over. 
So this time when she came and she walked into my house, I saw her hands uh, from her palms until her elbow filled with black uh, tiny boils. The sight of both the hands were very uh, terrible. So I asked her, what happened to you? What happened to your hands? She said, um, Madam, during the COVID time, I lost my house jobs and therefore I joined Kudumbashri, under which I got the work of uh, the picking up the waste. So I said, how did this happen? So she said, while doing that work, this happened. I said, don't you wear gloves? She said, yes, madam, I wear gloves, but then the impurities at times when we pick it up seeps in through the gloves and it stays there until we finish the work until that evening. It was very, uh, that moment when I saw both her hands entirely black and she was itching all over. Uh, I did not want her to get into the kitchen or do anything. Uh, all I wanted her was to leave for the time being and get cured and come back. So I told her that, um, advised her to see the doctor, did the needful and asked her to come back when she was okay. While she was leaving, she looked at me and she smiled and she said, Madam, I assured her that I wasn't upset because I feared that I might get this, but then we all know what happens in our mind when something like this happens. After she said that, she left and I sat down on my sofa re reflecting upon what was my reaction. My reaction was selfish, without a doubt. And I believe we all become very selfish when it comes to our loved ones, our family. We want to protect them from all kinds of uh, evil and dirt and everything. So it was this selfish thought of that moment. All I wanted was to her to be away. And then I realized, where did she get this from? She got this by collecting the garbage, the waste. A portion of it would have certainly gone from my kitchen as well. And probably from every kitchen of your houses that y'all are sitting here. Very easily we dispose garbage, we dispose waste without giving it a thought. We do not rinse the milk covers, we do not empty the parcel covers. If there is food left in the parcel covers, in the plastic covers, we just put it in the bin. We all know the consequence of what we are doing, but are we aware of the consequence really? If we had been aware, what would have been our reaction and our mode of life had we really been aware. At that moment, I felt, has education failed? We believe that we are already educated, but in most scenarios, do we really act as educated as we think we are? So it's a very small thing that we need to do, just separate the plastic covers. She said that the plastic is not picked up on daily basis. Uh, it's collected over a few weeks. So whatever food that is lying in there, the milk residue, it contaminates, it gets into fungus. And that kind of toxic smell and all that that comes in the Indian system, there isn't much of a safety that is provided to the people who are doing, picking up after the rich, doing this job. And yet, we are negligent. I'm very sure we all, all of us sitting here, dispose garbage very carelessly. We may be separating plastic from food waste because now the Kudma tree doesn't pick it up that way. However, are we rinsing it? How, how, how careful are we doing? Are we at doing this? So that little, small, tiny change, we always think, uh, what is, what's good, going to be the difference if I don't do? If each one of us starts taking this step up seriously, then I'm sure the effect that we'll see, the impact will, that we will see will be huge. So it's a small change and that's exactly the true meaning of today's theme that we are trying to bring out. A small change, let us embrace this tiny change. Yet another incident where I felt has education failed. When I visited the doctor at his residence, uh, for, an, uh, for a consultation. While I was sitting outside, mm, uh, what I saw was plastic garbage being burned at the backyard of his house. I thought 
at that moment that I'm sitting outside the doctor's residence and doctors for all of us are obviously the most educated people, people who we really respect a lot. Uh, for some, they are also the second face of God because they save life. They pledge to save life. And here is a doctor who's unaware of what is happening in his own premises. Had he been aware that plastic is burnt and what are the results of it, and what is the pledge that he takes to save life, how would this affect what's happening? I'm sure he would have stopped his domestic help from doing so. All these incidents make me feel, has education failed? Over a period of time, since many, many years, our focus has just been marks, grades, push children to examination, and ultimately see to it that they are successful, they score good marks, they are doing it big in life. Probably our entire focus has been only in grooming children and seeing to it that they score marks and they somehow reach to a stage where they get uh, admissions into the best universities and finally get into the wonderful jobs and have a safe and secured life. If we shift this, and probably that is the reason that in the 21st century, we are seeing war. Day after day, we are seeing a life that's more miserable, less empathetic, and chaos all around us. If we take a moment to just close our eyes and imagine what are we really giving to our children, I'm sure you would have a food for thought when you leave this hall today evening. Having said all this, how does Springwood impart this and how do we work towards bringing about this awareness that's so important for life? It is through the small activities that we do. So every time we send a message, you would probably say, oh, they've come up with the next activity, another activity. It's these activities that really help our children understand and experience what they can never get through their books. So one example of it was, um, I have been attending um, Dr. Debashi's Chatterjee, the Dean of Indian Institute of Management, his uh, leadership program for past four years. So each year he spoke, the first time I attended I was 35, and he spoke about awareness. When I got back home, I was wondering what did he teach because he spoke about one word awareness for five days and I sat back and I was wondering what did I really learn? Uh, with that one word awareness, how am I supposed to bring about some change in the institution that I lead? Eventually, it was in the last um, workshop that I attended, which happened online, which again went on for five days, and five days straight, he spoke about one word awareness from the in, by giving us examples of the invincible Arjuna to Mother Teresa. Everything revolved around this one word awareness. And it took me the pandemic to understand what was the true meaning of this word awareness. It took us time to just sit, reflect, upon what's the life that we are leading and what are we actually supposed to do. After that workshop, we would be given our certificates only if we submit an assignment to show what different would we do at Springwood. And it was after that that we started, come, I decided to do the kindness project at school. Uh, just before the pandemic and the kindness project was uh, accepted by the assignment was sent to Dr. Debashi's Chatterjee and uh, the school's assignment was chosen as one of the best assignments because we have to show exactly the results. So what was the result? Many a times parents uh, ask me, how do we restrict our children from a lot of uh, uh, luxury or how do we teach them to be grateful or have gratitude? Gratitude, like Samir Hassan said, cannot be taught through the four walls of a luxurious home. You need to hold the hand of the child and make them experience the ordinary come alive. How do we do it at Springwood is under the Kindness Project, we took our children, grade one and two, to the old age home and to an orphanage. 
After that visit to the orphanage, when I asked the children, so what did you feel? Many said we are happy, we could play with them, and we enjoyed playing with them. Uh, we gave them gifts and all those things. In that, there was one child who said, we are lucky. It's a six-year-old who said, we are lucky. I said, how are you lucky? So he said, we stay with our parents in our house, we have them, and we have everything. This realization is awareness. This is how we instill awareness in the students of Springwood Primary. And this is our sole motive to go ahead and nurture our students, not merely for the marks and grades and achieve a good university in future. We create, we don't just say we believe in holistic ed uh, education. We believe in creating and imparting genuine quality values which will live with our children for a lifetime. Before I conclude, I would, um, as the tradition of uh, Springwood Primary, I would like to announce the name of uh, the best parent. I call Miss Suhana, mother of uh, Zenha, to please come up on stage. So initially the decision to choose the best parent was again through, uh, through an idea that we had. Uh, we would ask our children to observe their parents in the assembly uh, at home and in the assembly we would ask our children to tell us one thing at least a week that inspires them. And then uh, as we collect the data from our students as to what inspired them the most about their parents, we would choose the best parent at Springwood. However, the, for the past two years, we haven't been able to do this because if we ask these questions, y'all are online, so you would probably know what's happening. So that drifted to uh, selecting the parents on a different way altogether. And this time, Zenha's mother is chosen because Zenha was a student who was very silent, very quiet until the pandemic, she was at school. So it wasn't that the Zenha, we never expected Zenha to be, you know, speaking very boldly and in a very confident manner. Post-pandemic, when the online classes started, after six months when we saw Zenha, we saw Zenha on the screen giving an awesome speech. And we were like, eh? is this Zenha? Where is this transformation coming? So sometimes it's not just a school that can make your children confident. I believe always it's a mother. It's the mother's magical touch that can bring about the best in a student. No one can do better than a mother. So hats off to this wonderful mother who bought a 360 degree change in her child and made Zenha Miss Springwood for this academic year. So congratulations. Thank you and have a wonderful day. I'm sure this evening will leave you all with a wonderful memory of uh, our children to cherish for a long time. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. And thank you, Ms. Suhana. You are a great inspiration for all the parents. Now, let's move on to the most awaited part of this evening. Our theme, you would like to have uh, parents feedback so if hi I'm Roshan uh, my son Ryan goes to LKG in Springwood Primary School hats off to all who ensured that the pandemic didn't affect the learning process of the students, especially uh, those who have just begun their sco school life. Uh, what I felt unique about Springwood is uh, definitely their teaching method. It's uh, more of uh, see and learn 
rather than just mark the topic each week uh, they had this theme being introduced like life cycle of a butterfly seasons etc and it just blew my mind because i never knew that you know kids at such a young age could uh, grasp so much of information also not just grasp but seeing them apply it in their day to day life was quite impressive and also never imagine that of online classes could uh, mold a 4 year old so much and uh, once the offline classes have resumed i feel his uh, social skills have improved a lot so big thanks to springwood family for making this transition easy learning at springwood has been an enriching experience for my son hamdan from ukg he has developed a keen interest in learning new words through phonics as well as he tries to remember difficult spellings by creating his own story or adding a special tune to it as that was how it was taught in class by mumtaz ma'am and i feel that helps children learn fast and remember also the activities done in class gave him a hands-on experience and helped him understand the topics better the exceed curriculum also deserves a mention here as it enhances logical reasoning in a child the topics are fun and children enjoy learning hi uh, i am sabina parent of mantra tarme who is in lkg i actually a proud parent of springwood uh, the kind of progress uh, my daughter has made like throughout maybe her personality or her behavior overall development i really appreciate the mentor more than the kid i totally in love with uh, the mentor the way she gives uh, individual attention to all students in the class the way they learn new things uh, you just amazing springwood my daughter is so excited to attend the class every day and she learn new things every day and even the virtual classes were so engaging a lot of fun activities and even the competitions conducted virtually was so good be it online or offline a mandra enjoys her classes we were actually in a trauma that uh, how is it going to be online for but lkg students how do they learn to write but amazingly every students of her class is awesome and all of them are doing well and uh, journey with springwood is really enriching so far i am looking forward hi in the base of hana in the most springwood land padichinathu enne baaju maikkan enne pole school il padikkan enikku thodi second standard aayirunnu avulde thodakam onninode pradhigirikkan ariyatha school il thene poova ishtamallatha oru kutti aayirunnu third il nayirunnu avulde oru maatham njan kandu thodakiyathu avul oru paadu valarnu avulde chindagal valarnu ഒരുപാട്സും എല്ലാറ്റിനും അവർ മുന്നോട്ട് വരുന്നത് കണ്ട് ഞാൻ അതിശയപ്പെട്ടു പോയിട്ടുണ്ട് ഞാൻ സന്തോഷത്തോടെ പറയട്ടെ സ്പ്രിങ്ങൂഡ് എന്നത് ഒരു കുട്ടി പാക്കേജ് ആണ് ടീച്ചേഴ്സും കുട്ടികളും പാരൻസും അവരുടെ കളികളും തമാശകളും പഠനവും നിറഞ്ഞ ഒരു കുട്ടി പാക്കേജ് പാരൻസ് എന്ന നിലയിൽ നാല് വർഷത്തെ പരിചയം വെച്ച് എനിക്ക് എൻ്റെ ഫാമിലിയോടും എൻ്റെ ഫ്രണ്ട്സിനോടും മറ്റുള്ളവരോടും അഭിമാനത്തോടെ പറയാൻ കഴിഞ്ഞു എൻ്റെ മോൾ സ്പ്രിങ്ങൂഡിൽ പഠിക്കുന്നത് ഗുഡ് ഈവനിങ് എവറി വൺ My name is Ashita, parent of Tapasya, who is in grade 5. Actually, I'm not good at talking in front of camera, but on this occasion, as my daughter is leaving the school after beautiful 5 years in Springwood, I need to say a few things. A few years ago, when my daughter entered to the school, she was like a very shy kid. Over the next 5 years, we could witness a lot of changes in her. Every year, she, she was improving a lot. Now she speaks really well. She performs on any platform without any inhibition. Today she goes out as a very enthusiastic and a confident girl. For this change as a parent I owe to the school. Springwood is more like a home than a school. I think every child enjoy learning here. My daughter thoroughly enjoyed these years. 
a heartfelt thanks to Team Springwood for grooming our kids to be smart, confident and compassionate kids. Thank you so much Principal Shamima ma'am, all the wonderful teachers, Chechis, Chatan and all. I'm sure these five years will be a very sweet memory that she will always cherish in her life. Hello everyone, I am Shahana Siyasur, a proud mother of proud Springwoodian Yara and Yamin. Nangalude or a family friend of Paranitana Yarekin Angal, Springwoodle, first standard in admission at Kunade. A tom Nala or Thirumanam Iruno are decision in the Yarode Springwoodle, first death and a incumanasilai. As a parent, Springwoodle, five years experience in Avrode, a tom Velia Pratheka de Ayan Karnade, academic space in Matra Mella, could take all the talents and skills, okay, Protu Kunduveran, teachers, Valare, important to Kurukunu and Nuladane. Online education time will spring good either cavalry or the comes with the children. Saying goodbye is the hardest thing in life. It's really painful to leave the school teachers and all those who have put forth their effort in bringing out the best in every child. I extended my sincere thanks to our knowledgeable and talented teachers and our principal who has guided us in every step. Whatever height she achieved in life, I can proudly admit that she started her journey from Springwood, the best school that one could ever have. I am Prinya Vipin, mother of Aditi, grade 4. I was standing in the first time in the first confusion I was in the school. Finally, Springwood was in the first time. Now, I am in grade 4. I am very happy to be in the studies, extracurricular activities, and spring-wood teachers. I am very proud of you. 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 Good evening, one and all. I am Sina. I am the parent of Omi, who is in grade 5. And today I'm here to share my experience about Springwood Primary School. I still remember the first day when I dropped my son to school, I was so worried as it was the first time he was away from me. But when he returned back from school, he said, Amma, I'm so happy and you don't have to worry about me. As he said, from that day onwards, I never have to look back and it was like a second home to him. I am Shrika Sumesh, father of grade 4. Because there are a lot of things that my daughter has learned from this confidence, uh, how she talks, how she behaves, everything is being taught from the spring school. And uh, there are lot, lots of memories to be remembered from uh, spring, especially the annual days, the concepts that you people have done. It's really good. Every year you come out with a unique concept, which is definitely amazing. And the kind of effort that you people have put in for all the functions and to groom the child has been really amazing. So once again, I would like to thank the entire Springwood family, the mentors, the teachers, mom teaching staff, everyone for this. We are parents of Madhav, grade 4. I am Ashwati. I am Shrikant. Springwood has uh, definitely molded Madhav into a a uh, very confident and uh, considerate child. Um, at this point, I would like to mention that we were on a six-week tour to the US a couple of years ago. It was spring 2018. Mother was barely eight years old. We were a little um, concerned and also like worried as to whether he would be able to mingle with the locals there. But uh, surprisingly, Madhav was very confident and he made a lot of friends who were Americans and that confidence is like more important than academics. Academics you can do from any school, but that confidence comes from a place where, um, a place like Springwood. All of you are very kind and very caring. I can't express that. We are totally happy we selected Springwood and uh, very sad that we have to leave the school. As you know, we don't have any other choice. I'm thanking you for grooming Omdeep the way he is now. Very bold, not alone in academics. Even his character has changed a lot. A lot, I should say. He can tell anything to his teacher. That itself is the biggest quality. 
because whether it's right or wrong being able to approach your elders that's good i dr ajan kumar and ashwati proud parents of isha pillai grade 5 and priya pillai grade 1 from springwood primary school children were always enthusiastic to go to school isha was earlier very silent and aloof now she expresses herself pretty well mentorship at springwood is a play here bonding between the parents teachers and children were clearly evident in programs like grandparents day fathers day health week and fun trips handling of the pandemic by the school management was extraordinary in spite of resistance at places switching from online to offline and hybrid modes were commendable entry and exit of children to and from the school was pretty well managed swimming and french classes were a welcome step library classes to improve vocabulary was praiseworthy teachers and center head were always accessible meaning there's action on parents feedback teachers are all around us here they take care of our children they mentor our children and they create opportunities to showcase our children's hidden talents apart from their regular teachings it happens only, only in springwood, springwood primary, primary school. school when we started searching school for i and like all other parents uh, we we went and visited all schools in the calicut city almost all schools because like every day we will be keeping a time for that and we'll be traveling and be visiting be visiting the schools but springwood on the first visit itself gave us a very positive feel when we talked with the sender head when we met all the mentors the like uh, i had a i i i had my feeling that like this is the right place for us to send right yeah we are really happy that we selected springwood it's like an extended family for him and uh, he loves going to school so i think uh, everything is well balanced in springwood yes. so thank you team springwood Now let's move on to the most awaited part of today's evening our theme embrace change please enjoy thank you reach high for stars lie hidden in your soul dream deep for every dream leads the goal it is time to chill to cheer to shine to inspire and to be inspired a very good evening to our dignitaries principal parents teacher our guest and my dear friends we the students of springwood have gathered here today to celebrate a 7th annual day event It's not only a day that brings us together to have a fun-filled evening, but also a day where we the Springwoodians believe that it is our responsibility to leave an imprint in the hearts and minds of the people who influence and play a definite role in our lives, our elders. So, if you are wondering What's in store for today's exciting evening? In the words of great scientist Albert Einstein, I quote, unquote, the world has been created in the process of our thinking. It cannot be changed without our thinking, as we all are aware at the dream of our own existences. Let us step out of our comfort zone and be the catalyst to bring a small change in our life and a big reform in saving the world let us take you through a spell binding impactful musical performance by the students of springwood primary who will awaken your souls and embrace change
colorful butterfly. Stay away, stay away. Please don't come near me. I'm afraid of you. You will harm me. Oh, why do you say so? We won't harm you. Your colorful wings make me wonder. How you got them? Can we be friends? No, I don't promise to be your friend. But I will tell you how I got my beautiful wings. I have been through different stages of change to evolve into this form. Change? What did you need to go through? I was a tiny little egg lying on a soft green leaf. A few days later, I cracked open my egg and came out as a caterpillar. A tiny little worm that was not liked by anyone. I had a hunger to change. I started eating a lot and lot of leaves till I felt my stomach would burst. It went on for some time and then I created a cocoon around me to evolve into a better me. And one fine morning, I broke out of my cocoon and fluttered into a beautiful garden and became a catalyst of change to all the vibrant flowers in the garden. Is this change only for butterflies or is it for everything in nature? Yes, change happens for everything in nature. Change is the only factor that's constant.
that large powerful bird? That's an eagle. Yet another creature who sets an example of how important it is to accept change to reform, evolve and rise above all difficulties and emerge stronger than ever before. We the eagles are the kings of the skies. We live up to 70 years. As we reach our 40th year, our long flexible talons can no longer grab prey. Our long sharp beak begins to bend. Wings get old, thick and heavy. We are left with only two options. To die or to go through the painful process of change. We then fly to a mountain top and sit in a nest. We knock out our beak and wait for a new beak to grow. We pluck our talons too. Our talons grow back and it's time to pluck out our heavy feathers. Change, that's worth sustaining the pain. We then take the famous flight of rebirth and live for another 30 years. Something's gonna bring the change 
journeys we are meant to take Something at the edge of space Calling us to fly away Calling us to fly away What a lovely breeze. I feel cold. Yes, it's winter breeze. You'll see how seasons change too. It's the season when the whole world seems to go to sleep. The animals hibernate. The birds stop migrating to warmer lands. The weather is crouching. The cold is far away from comfort. The ground is hard. The trees and plants seem to be dead. While the end of winter offers hope, the middle of winter seems as endless as long winter night. That's when the mighty nature changes to bring warmth in our lives with the beautiful season of spring bringing in new hopes.
Spring is the queen of the seasons, the most delightful season with blooming flowers, buzzing bees, fluttering butterflies, wobbling birds. Spring breathes in a new life into the air. Spring is the favorite season for the poets from Shakespeare to Wordsworth. Poets have always been inspired by the season of new beginnings. What better way to describe spring than the lines of the great poets? William Wordsworth, I wandered lonely as the cloud that floats on high over vales and hills, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils beside the lake, beneath the trees. fluttering and dancing in the breeze
Well, I going sweet butterfly. I'm going to have some nectar from these lovely flowers. We are hungry too. Let us have some juicy mangoes from that tree. Do you know even this tiny little seed will change into a huge tree which grows to give back to nature and satisfies your hunger? was a tiny little seed dropped in the dirt buried deep and covered in darkness of the soil all alone i struggled to reach out to the light i sprouted with all my might it took me days to shoot long and lush and finally turned out into this mighty tree flowered and ripened to give you back
You are so lucky to get close to the nature and understand nature so well. Let me ask you something. I saw you singing and dancing with your friends, but why did they fly away seeing me? Because we believe that you humans can bring us harm. Don't you know me by now? Do you still feel I would cause harm to you? God has created humans different from us. While we merely play a one role given to us, He has created you humans with the ability to think. And you humans had the power to choose the change you wish to see. Change for good or change for worse. How? Why do humans change for bad? Look around you. You will see many who are giving back to the world through the good they do. Some plant trees, some say water. Amongst you, there are those who cut the same trees and exploit the nature and take away more than you can give back to satisfy the never-ending human greed. So who are the good human beings? Can you tell me more about them? Because I want to be like them to be your friend. Have you heard the story of great Emperor Ashoka? He is the greatest example of how humans can change from bad to good. His story will show you the two sides of the same human and you will understand why I say that you humans have the power to change the world for the better.
the devastating site of Kalinga War was the turning point in the life of the great Emperor Ashoka. Ashoka ventured out to roam the city, and all he could see were burned houses and scattered gods. This is the history which each one of us should take as a valuable lesson of our life. The lethal Kalinga war transformed the vengeful Emperor Ashoka into a better human being. It's time for me to say goodbye to you. Oh no, don't go away. Someone, please stop that butterfly from going away from me. All you humans present in this audience today, did you hear how a tiny butterfly changes and makes the garden filled with vibrant flowers to give us fruits and shade? How the seasons change to give us comfort? and make our world so beautiful and how even the mighty great emperor ashoka left his greed and all his power after seeing the devastating effects of war
But what are we doing? The beautiful butterfly no longer wants to be with us. The nature is falling apart. Seasons don't come like before. Springs don't bring us beautiful flowers. Valleys and streams are all dry. And humans continue to run behind their own greed, using more than they can give back. And even now, we don't change. What we see today is because of our own greed. Oh, my dear parents, take a pledge with your hands on your heart, your eyes set on us, your little children, for whom the world is on the verge of extinction. Promise us that you will bring the change you want to see in the world. Promise that you will give us back a world filled with bees and butterflies, flowers and rivers, mountains and valleys, peace and harmony, love and oneness for all the living creatures.
That was lovely and thought-provoking. I hope you all enjoyed it. Change is inevitable. I hope each and everyone present here today will be leaving with some food for thought and will take a pledge to embrace change. Okay, dear all, there's a five minutes break. So some refreshments are uh, arranged outside. Please show your entry pass and collect the same. Thank you. of Springwood Primary School for the academic year 2021-22. At the end of this year, it is good to take a moment to reflect on the year that was and celebrate the successes, the challenges and the opportunities to learn and grow. This was also a year where we learned to adapt to the new normal as we shuttled between online and offline classes and worked together to navigate the many highs and lows brought about due to the pandemic. It was encouraging to see the Springwood family come together to ensure that the year was a memorable one. At Springwood, we don't just focus on academic excellence, but also the overall holistic development of our children. We provide them with various platforms of competitive nature, like the National Science, Math, and English Olympiads. This year, we introduced the General Knowledge, IT, and Social Science Olympiads also. Students performed exceedingly well bagging medals and ranks in these competitions. We would like to specially congratulate the Springwoodians who participated in the various Olympiads. Master Ilan Regal of Grade 4 won the Certificate of Zonal Excellence in the International English Olympiad, Zonal Bronze Medal and also gifts worth rupees 1000. And Miss Mariam of Grade 2 has won the Gold Medal of Excellence. In IGKO, Master Faraz Mahadi of Grade 5 bagged Zonal Award, Medal of Distinction plus Certificate of Distinction. In National Science Olympiad, Master Chris Emanuel of Grade 4 won Gold Medal of Excellence. Ms. Zara Lahik of Grade 1 and Master Ilan Regal of Grade 4 bagged Medal of Dis uh, Distinction and Certificate of Distinction. Parent Orientation and Teacher Training Programs. As a regular practice followed every year, this session began with the orientation program for the parents of the students of classes pre-primary to grade five. 
The program made the parents aware of the scheme of education we impart here at our school. It's the teacher that makes the change, not the mere classroom. We believe in equipping teachers to prepare for the future and update their knowledge. Continuous exceed training is being given to mentors. Every Saturday, mentors attend a one-hour training conducted by Exceed. Now, I would like to take you through the flow of the important events that took place in this academic year at Springwood Primary. Let's start with the month of June when the school reopened. All of us at Springwood eagerly look forward to the first day back to school to watch our enthusiastic Springwoodians back in action after a well-rested vacation. This academic year commenced on June 7th in a virtual mode. We were thrilled and excited to welcome new members virtually to our Springwood family. Students of primary and preschool started their first day by celebrating Environment Day and Ocean Day. Students were amazed to know about the secrets inside the deep blue ocean. Morning Assembly. Aristotle rightly said that educating the mind without educating the heart is no education at all. Morning Assembly at Springwood provides the opportunity for students to develop their confidence by speaking up and sharing their ideas. Value-based education is given with the aim to inculcate in students values like honesty, gratitude, forgiveness, kindness, etc. Father's Day. We acknowledged the contributions that fathers make by celebrating Father's Day on Saturday 19th of June by organizing a small virtual event with fun-filled games and riddles for fathers to participate and enjoy with their little ones. It was wonderful to see the fathers take time out from the busy schedule to spend some time playing games and children also enjoyed imitating their fathers. Indeed, it was a day well spent. Coming to the month of August, we had Health Week. Every culture and region has a history that shows the love of people for street food. It's not just a passing fashion, but also a new way of experiencing the age-old relationship between a society and its food. For Health Week, students of grade five did a wonderful presentation on the topic, journey of street food before and after COVID. Students also explain the food culture and origin of the popular food with a beautiful blend of traditional costumes and language of that particular state. They also researched about the diets of sportsmen and also about different types of fruits, vegetables and spices. Aspire Talent Fest. At Springwood, our aim has always been to nurture our children in every aspect of their all-round development and our Aspire Talent Fest is one of those opportunities that allow our children to showcase their talents. It's also an opportunity for both parents and teachers to understand the various skills that their children possess. This year's Talent Fest was very different and extremely challenging for both our students and their parents who groomed them. Meet and greet. Meet and greet was a short exercise to build social skills while students learned remotely. It was planned to put some fun and excitement in the lives of our preschoolers for whom it's their first ever visit to their school. Students played with puzzles, had a walk through the school and enjoyed every bit of their first visit to the school they belonged to. Although it was a short visit, our little ones have carried back a bucket full of happiness. Independence Day. The most notable event was the celebration of our 75th Independence Day, in which our students participated with great enthusiasm, understanding the spirit of freedom, and displaying pride in being Indians. The children dressed up and presented on several topics from India's freedom movement, including the British Raj, Dandi March, Jallianwala Bagh, Quit India, and the independence speech by the first Prime Minister, Sri Jawaharlal Nehru. They dressed up as freedom fighters and said the famous uh, slogans. Onam. Though the events were held online, Onam was celebrated with full zeal and zest. Children were dressed up in traditional costumes for the day. Students performed traditional dances and enacted a play to explain the story and significance of Onam. 
Next, Grandparents' Day. Grandparents hold our tiny hands for just a little while, but our hearts forever. At Springwood, we celebrated the second virtual Grandparents' Day on 23rd October 2021, and we were blessed to have many grandparents who wholeheartedly joined for the event. Some of the grand grandparents showered their love in the form of kind and motivating words, while others with melodious songs. Children's Day Fun Fair. Children's Day at Springwood has always been a merry affair, and this time too it was the same, with students participating in the fun fair. A small carnival was set in the school. Children enjoyed games, posters, and art filled the space resonating with the theme of the year, kindness. Offline reopening. Our primary students were happy to come back to school after one and a half years of online classes. The offline classes for primary grades started in November. The month of December brought some relief to our preschoolers also. After a long wait, months spent studying at home and missing their friends and teachers, they were overwhelmed by their first day back at school. In December, we had picnic and sports day also. The 23rd of December 2021 was a fun-filled day for the children of Springwood Primary. Students were taken for a picnic at the Carpat Beach. It was held as part of our Christmas celebrations. The shimmer in the eyes of the children spoke eloquently about their expectations of a day to remember. Everyone enjoyed taking part in various sports activities on the beach. Children returned home happily after ensuring the last school day of 2021 was well spent. In the new year, the first celebration was Republic Day. Springwoodians joined the rest of the country to celebrate Republic Day to honor 75 years of independence of our country. On this occasion, students presented soulful songs, mime, and slides showcasing the history and significance of Republic Day. Learning gives creativity. Creativity leads to thinking. Thinking provides knowledge, and knowledge makes us great. In resonance with these words, Springwood Primary conducted a quiz competition for students of grade one to grade five. It was quite an, uh, quite an interesting and extremely exciting event. Students competed fiercely and enjoyed the quiz to the fullest. Science Fair. Science Fair is an opportunity for students to apply the scientific method to conduct independent research. This year also we conducted the Science Fair. As usual, our budding scientists showcased their talents. It was surprising to see how inquisitive they are and how they love exploring things, from neurons, remote control cars, earthquakes to the solar system and air pollution. It was a great show of enthusiasm and an exercise in practical application. I would like to conclude by extending our sincere thanks to all the parents who have lent a supporting hand down through the years and especially for the past two years when we had to undergo a transition from offline to online. A heart filled with aspirations is all that we knew since the very existence of the school and that's what gave us the ambition of marching forward till excellence is achieved in all our endeavors. With all your blessings and prayers, thank you all once again. Now, I would request Ms. Mumtaz to come on stage and to proceed with the UKG graduation ceremony. Thank you.
Good evening all. Welcome to our kindergarten graduation ceremony. Today is a very special evening in the lives of our kindergartners. As they step out of the cozy comfort of being in the kindergarten and begin their new journey with dreams awaiting to be achieved. I have always enjoyed mentoring the lovely children each year and this year has been no different. I was blessed with an awesome bunch of kids, some extra talented, some extremely intelligent, some very funny and also loving. It's hard to say goodbye, but we have come to the end of yet another academic year. But we are fortunate that we got at least the last few months in physical classes with our children. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the wonderful parents without whom our little ones would not have been able to achieve the learning objectives of their preschool years. It is truly teamwork that has helped our children survive this pandemic. As I taught our wonderful children online, it was the mother at home who nurtured it further. And this teamwork has made our children these wonderful, confident little ones standing before us right now. Now, I would like to invite our director, a very passionate doctor by profession, Dr. Salman Salahuddin. He is the senior cardiologist at Astor Mims. He is a member of the Royal College of Physicians UK, a fellow of the European Society of Cardiology. He has several publications, national and international, to his credit. He also holds a special place for his family and keeps a perfect balance between his work life and personal life. Sir, I would like to request you to please come up on the stage to bless our little ones by giving them the certificates and sash. Now let's call this little stars of tomorrow. Jezza. Start walking. Miss Little Magical Bean. Start walking. As the name rightly says, tiny as a seed, yet holds a tree inside. She is truly a magical being, who when given the right environment, can grow and change into anything magical. Responsible, humorous, understanding, and helpful. That's our little Jaza, who wishes to be a doctor when she grows up. Good luck to you, Jaza. Iman, Mr. Playful, Aka, our superhero. Iman and his cute little mischievous acts always keeps me on my toes. He wins my heart with his charming smile. He's a very funny character. One can never predict what is next in store from him. The only trick to tame him is to remind him that he is a superhero. Instantly, we see him transform from this naughty little one to a very caring and loving child. Iman wishes to be a software engineer and create computer games when he grows up. All the best to you, Iman. 
Ayram is super genius, responsible beyond her age, excellent in academics, my assistant mentor in class, whether it is to give away the books or to help her peers. She is all game for it. And above all, the owner of the most compassionate heart who cannot see anyone cry or be sad. Whenever she is on leave, I miss this beautiful soul. Ira wishes to be a firefighter and help people when she grows up. Just as compassionate as her heart is, so is her dream. Ethan, Mr. Little Einstein. Ethan's little brain holds a world full of information from the black hole to the underlying secrets in the depths of the ocean. Nothing goes unnoticed from this hawk-eyed child. His curious mind is always in search for more. Give me more is our Ethan's so slogan. He loves asking for more challenging tasks at school. He wishes to be a scientist and build a robot when he grows up. I'm Miss Techie Wiz. As soon as she finishes the assigned work, she is all in for exploring the different features on Zoom. From changing the background to adding that special smiley and theater background onto her screen. Even though soft spoken, she has excelled in academics and is an energetic dancer. Ayn wishes to be a doctor when she grows up. All the best to you, Ayn. Imran, Mr. Polite. This little gentleman of my class is always so polite and considerate of everyone around him. I have never seen him break a rule or ever be part of anything mischievous in the class. Indeed, he is a Mr. Polite. Imran wishes to be a businessman like his father when he grows up. Good luck to you, Imran. Parvati, Miss Creative. Even with her happy-go-lucky nature, she never fails to impress me when it comes to excelling in all her activities done in class. She is very creative and when it comes to drawing and clay modeling. She always chooses bright colors for all the activities, which is a delight for the eyes. She thoroughly enjoys dancing too. Parvati wishes to be a police officer when she grows up. Good luck to you, Parvati. Rayan, Mr. Well-Behaved. I believe the right parenting and love has molded little Rayan into this well-behaved little darling he is. It's always a delight to have him around. He is an academic star and a great story lover. Rayan wishes to be a scientist when he grows up. Good luck, Rayan. Anika, Miss Organized. Being organized is a crucial skill, not only for academic success, but for life. Anika's work is always neat, from the way she handles her books to the little things that worries her as she sees her friends carelessly lay the puzzle pieces on the floor. An elegant dancer, academic star, always pleasant and very creative. That's our little Anika, who wishes to be a family doctor when she grows up. And when asked why family doctor, Little Anika replied that she wants to be a family doctor just like her mom. Muhammad, Mr. Energetic, the bouncing ball of my class, who can seldom rest in a place. However, when posed with any question, he knows the answers to all. It makes me sure that children learn in different ways. And he, I believe, is the kinesthetic learner of my class. He makes my day with his warm hugs. Dreams of little Muhammad are as tall as the buildings he wishes to build when he grows up. Hoping to see you make some skyscrapers someday. All the best to you, dear Muhammad. <laughs> Mariam, the little chef. You will be surprised to know that these little hands can bake cupcakes and even noodles for you. She enters the class each morning with positivity. It's wonderful to start the day looking at her cute strawberry cheeks and cheerful smile. Mariam wishes to be a chef when she grows up. May your wishes come true, Mariam. <laughs> Hannah.
Maddie, Mr. Charming. This little confident performer is at its best when in the limelight. Give him the center stage and he rules it with grace and confidence. It is always a delight to watch our little Hadi perform with all his confidence. I hope and pray that he continues to shine in all his future performances. He makes my day with his warm hugs and loving gestures. Hadi wishes to be a Spider-Man when he grows up and wants to climb up tall buildings to view the whole wide world, as in his own words. Erina is enthusiastic. Erina is rightly titled so for her enthusiasm towards any task given and her deep desire to come first in everything she does. She seldom misses any part of the online class. A great story lover who repeatedly enjoys listening to the monkey puzzle story. Erina wishes to be an artist when she grows up and would love to paint on big, big walls, in her own words. All the best to you, Erina. Hanbil, the Iron Man. If you may wonder why I call him so, then let me tell you that you seldom see him without a bruise on his body. It surprises me to hear him say that what he likes most is the fighting games with his brother. As calm as the sea, but as devastating as it becomes. Yes, that's our little Hanbil who wishes to be a chef when he grows up. He leaves to totally confused about his varied character. All the best to you, Hanbil. Shriya Miss Humble. In a world where humility is so rare, it is refreshing to see our Miss Humble walk into the classroom each day with her sweet little smile. And she touches my heart with her humble gestures. Always remains calm, composed, and attentive in class. She is also she has also won a number of prizes in the school talent fest show. Shriya wishes to be a teacher like her mentor when she grows up. Aydin, Mr. Sunshine. Aydin lights up the classroom with his positivity. Little Aydin has not only won my heart with his adorable smile, but also leaves me beaming with pride when I see him read short stories so effortlessly despite the fact that he was new to the system. Joining us this year, he has indeed proven to be a great learner. Who said that our little ones aren't aware of brands? Little Aydin wishes to make mobile phones and he specifically mentioned the name Samsung. So let's hope to see some amazing Samsung mobile created by Aydin someday in future. Krishna, Miss Talented. The star of our talent fest who won the most number of prizes, be it speech, song, or storytelling, she is all game for it. One will be surprised to know that Krishna and what Krishna enjoys the most in school is not the playground, but the dictations in the surprise test. Her favorite character is Spider-Man, and she loves to wear her Spider-Man T-shirt and Spider-Man bag. Little Krishna says she wishes to be a shopkeeper, in her own words. I believe we'll get to see a shining woman entrepreneur in future. Sammy, Mr. Free Spirited. This happy-go-lucky child is least affected by rules and norms. He is happiest in his own world. Sammy shows good presence of mind when it comes to performance on stage. He wishes to be a bike racer when he grows up. May his wishes come true. Toya, Miss Tory Queen. Her imagination runs wild. And this is seen during story time when she effortlessly weaves an entire story once given a start to it. You say an event in the story and will be surprised to see how the story is going to unfold as she adds her own imaginary characters and magical universe into the story. When she grows up, Zoya wishes to be a police officer and save people from thieves. All the best to you, Zoya. Alam, Mr. Compassionate. 
This little heart cannot see anyone sad. He is always the first to let go and give the magical hug to bring back a smile, bring a smile back on his friend's face. He fondly narrates his experience of his journey with his father in the new jeep. Alam wishes to be a police officer when he grows up. May your wishes come true, Alam. Irene, Miss Dancing Toes. When it comes to dancing, no one can beat Irene. Put the music on and you will be spellbound with her energetic and graceful dance moves. She is compassionate by nature and wishes to be a nurse when she grows up. Irene, can we see one of your iconic moves here? Can you just show one of your iconic moves here? A little bit of dance, yeah. Start. Okay, yes, I believe. Now all will agree with me now. Tamim, Mr. Consistent. Tamim has shown steady and consistent progress in academics. He is not only consistent in academics, but by nature too. And with this consistency by nature, he never forgets to give me a flying kiss every day before leaving school. He wishes to be a dentist when he grows up. Good luck to you, Tamim. Zohil Miss Joyful. This little girl has her goal set right. She wishes to be a pilot when she grows up and visit all the places in the world. Rightly described as Miss Happy-Go-Lucky, our little Zohil is least affected by any problems around her. Always happy and cheerful. <laughs> Moving on to our lovely online kids. who were unable to join us uh, for this event, but have been here at Springwood for the past two years. Some from Dubai, Qatar, and faraway places. Let's welcome our lovely online students. Abram. Abram, Mr. Pleasant. Abram always turns up with a pleasant face and tries hard to improve each day. He sees it to it that he makes himself heard or recognized during the class. He enjoys online classes and stories. Abram wishes to be a soldier like his grandfather when he grows up. Vamshi, Mr. Storyteller. Vamshi is online with us. That's Vamshi, Mr. Storyteller. This amazing storyteller is spontaneous when it comes to creating a new story. His imaginative characters and places come alive before our eyes as he narrates the story. Always punctual and attentive in online classes. Vamshi wishes to be a scientist when he grows up. All the best to you, Vamshi. Hassan, Mr. Curious. Hassan is a curious child who loves experiments. He enjoyed doing the sink and float activity using various materials. Always logs in on time for online classes. He is an academic star who quickly finishes all the questions and waits for more. He loves stories and wishes to be a military police officer when he grows up. Hamdan, Mr. Perfectionist. Hamdan goes way beyond the expected out outcome with regard to completing any online assi assignments. The detail and hard work that goes into every assignment are appreciated. An academic star who enjoys listening to stories, Hamdan wishes to be an astronaut when he grows up. Good luck to you, Hamdan. 
that was the class UKG 2022 graduates. Last but not least, I couldn't think of a better way of concluding this beautiful evening, this graduation moment, by reading out a poem written to us by our dear parent, Miss Noshina, mother of Hamdan, who has sent it all the way from Dubai as a token of love for all of us. Springwood is my first school. Springwood is the best school. Shabu ma'am for LKG, Mumtaz ma'am for UKG. When Shabu ma'am sings hello song, I love to merrily sing along. LKG taught me phonics and letter. UKG taught me how to be a reader. Rhyming words confuse me. Mumtaz ma'am makes it easy for me. A say anar, a say arm. Thank you Anjali ma'am. Online class is little fun, but I like to go to school and run. My dear friends are far away, but I hope to meet them someday. Thank you, Shamima Ma'am, our center head, for always keeping us guided and ahead. Be it my first grade or 10th grade, memories at Springwood will never fade. Congratulations to all the graduates, and I wish my little ones all the blessings and a very bright future. Thank you, sir, for doing the honors, and I request you to please remain on the stage for primary certificates and awards.
I would like to request Ms. Anjali to please come up on the stage to announce the winners of the events conducted during this academic year. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Awards are a way to encourage good behavior and inculcate a competitive spirit. Today, I feel very privileged and honored to share our students' achievements and celebrate their extraordinary performances. With excellent performances, they have proved that everybody is a winner. Let us begin with our prize distribution, and I request our director, Dr. Salman Sir, to do the honors. Ira P, first prize in quiz competition. I request the parents to please give them a big round of applause. Pia Pillay, first prize in science fair, third prize in quiz competition. Zara Faisal, first prize in quiz competition, second prize in Malayalam storytelling and second prize in Malayalam recitation. Alaina Jasail, second prize in quiz competition. Dian Dinil, second prize in quiz competition, third prize in science fair. Yamin Abdurrahman, third prize in quiz competition. Rua Mariam, third prize in quiz competition. I request parents to please give them a big round of applause. Archit Abhilash, first prize in Malayalam recitation, first prize in Malayalam storytelling, second prize in dance, third prize in science fair. Zara Lahik, Medal of Distinction and Certificate of Distinction in National Science Olympiad and third prize in English recitation.
Avanya Kalur, second prize in science fair, third prize in dance, third prize in Hindi recitation and third prize in Malayalam storytelling. Mazin Salman, third prize in English recitation. Anvita Ashit, first prize in Malayalam storytelling, second prize in song of any form, second prize in dance, third prize in English storytelling. Nahar Ghalib, first prize in song of any form. Shaban Kashif, first prize in English storytelling, second prize in Hindi recitation, second prize in English recitation. Sanvi Santosh, first prize in dance and second prize in Hindi recitation. Ishan V, second prize in science fair, third prize in Malayalam recitation. Anvita Renit, first prize in English recitation, first prize in Hindi recitation, first prize in English storytelling, first prize in quiz competition and second prize in Malayalam storytelling. Mohammad Ayan, Gold Medal of Excellence in International Mathematics Olympiad, second prize in Malayalam Storytelling, third prize in English Storytelling and third prize in Dance. Mariam Zara, Gold Medal of Excellence in the International English Olympiad and second prize in Science Fair. Nawal Salim, first prize in science fair and third prize in quiz competition. Arna Khetan, third prize in Hindi recitation. Nikda Lakshmi, third prize in Malayalam recitation. Anamika Menon Shah, second prize in quiz competition, second prize in Malayalam recitation, third prize in science fair. Adam Sakib, third prize in science fair. Meghna Mahesh, second prize in Malayalam recitation, second prize in English storytelling. Hannah Nofel, third prize in song of any form.
Azwa Mehra, second prize in English storytelling, second prize in English recitation. Siddhan Sanjit, first prize in quiz competition. Aisha Zuna, first prize in Malayalam recitation, second prize in science fair, second prize in quiz competition. Fatima Jaza, second prize in Hindi recitation, third prize in Malayalam recitation. Haya Fatima, second prize in Malayalam elocution. Aza Naif, third prize in dance. Zia Fatima, third prize in English elocution, third prize in English recitation. Abhay, third prize in quiz competition. Imad Mosa, first prize in quiz competition, third prize in Malayalam recitation. Parents, please give them a big round of applause. Ryan George, first prize in science fair, second prize in English recitation, second prize in Malayalam recitation. Zakir, third prize in science fair. Ilan Regal, certificate of zonal excellence, zonal bronze medal, and gifts worth rupees thousand in the International English Olympiad. Medal of Distinction and Certificate of Distinction in National Science Olympiad, Gold Medal of Excellence in International Mathematics Olympiad and First Prize in Science Fair. <laughs> Mahir Salman, First Prize in Quiz Competition, First prize in English elocution and third prize in English recitation. Shrianshi Jain, third prize in quiz competition. Abhinav Talur, first prize in Hindi elocution, first prize in Hindi recitation, second prize in science fair, second prize in quiz competition. Tanha Ashik, first prize in song of any form, second prize in dance. Aditri, first prize in dance. I Nofil, third prize in song of any form.
Chris Emmanuel, Gold Medal of Excellence in National Science Olympiad, Gold Medal of Excellence in International Mathematics Olympiad. We haven't received the Olympiad certificates and medals. Once we receive it, we will hand it over to the kids. Faraz Mehdi, Zonal Award, Medal of Distinction, Certificate of Distinction in International General Knowledge Olympiad and First Prize in Malayalam Recitation. Isha Pillai, First Prize in Quiz Competition, First Prize in English Recitation, Second Prize in English Elocution, Third Prize in Science Fair. Tapasya Praveen, first prize in Malayalam elocution, first prize in English recitation, first prize in English elocution, second prize in Malayalam recitation. Aira Salam, second prize in English elocution, second prize in quiz competition. Aisha Zenha, second prize in song of any form. Gabriela Jessica, second prize in song of any form, second prize in dance, third prize in English elocution. Yara Saida, third prize in Hindi recitation, third prize in Malayalam recitation, third prize in song of any form, and third prize in quiz competition. Congratulations to all the winners and all the participants. Felicitation is inspiration to others and motivation to whom you are felicitating. Today, we have an exclusive category of felicitation to recognize the specific students for their uniqueness and their speciality. Every accomplishment starts with the decision to try. Our Mr. Springwood Faraz would also have decided to try when he joined Springwood. Politeness, hardworking, friendliness are few words that come to our mind when we describe Mr. Springwood. He is a role model for his peers, not only academically, but also in extracurricular activities. In the classroom, he strives to do his best and volunteer. By the classroom, he displays perseverance, sportsmanship, and a great attitude. Success is no accident. It is hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice and most of all love of what you are doing or learning to do. Anna Little Zenha is the apt example of all the above. From a shy little girl to becoming Miss Springwood has been a journey that she has achieved merely by her hard work and perseverance over the past five years. We are truly proud of how Zenha has evolved over these years. She truly deserves to be awarded as Miss Springwood for the excellent performance both in academic and co-curricular activities. One is not born a genius, one becomes a genius. This is appropriate for a Mr. Genius, Chris. The traits that make are his creative and out-of-the-box thinking. He is never tired of gaining new information and knowledge. He leaves us jaw-dropped with his informative answers. He always inspires everyone to be the best version of themselves. Every child is an artist. It is true for Miss Picasso Yara. 
from scribbles to sketchings our little yara's journey as an artist has been quite incredible she is very passionate about painting and is gifted with artistic talents keep doing your best work to be a champion you don't need power you need training our mr sprinter fazi was born to be a champion he is ever ready to face a challenge he has the strength and stamina to take the lead and win a gold medal Between the pages of a book is a wonderful place to be. Let us welcome our Mr. Voracious reader Ryan for whom books are his best friends indeed. A voracious reader with a quest to acquire knowledge. Keep reading Ryan. It is one of the most marvelous adventures that you can ever have. Scientists are explorers. Our Mr. Budding scientist of Springwood, Ilan is indeed an explorer. He is keenly observant and curious to know about everything around him. He has an innate quality of acquiring information. During our science fair, his in-depth knowledge of science topics that he demonstrated literally left all of us speechless. Dance with your heart your feet will follow let us welcome miss dancing toes sanvi the dancing star of springwood let the music on and you will see her feet tap with grace and synchronize to the music her energy makes everyone groove she leaves a sparkle wherever she goes and yes how can we not mention about her performance for the aspire talent fest where her folk dance performance left everyone wanting more it was a heart touching performance that we will remember forever you don't need a reason to help people our miss helping hand naira is one among them she is always willing to help lend a helping hand to everyone be it her peers or her mentors Organization isn't about perfection. It's about efficiency, reducing stress and clutter, saving time and improving your overall quality of life. Our little Mazen is a perfect example of being organized. A very loving and affectionate child indeed. This little one can marshal his troops. He never fails to impress us with his well-organized nature. Our little Mr. Organized seldom enters into quarrels in his classroom certainly mazen is mr organized who deserves a big round of applause for his consistent and organized performance at school great speakers are not born they are trained miss eloquent tapasya is a perfect example her eloquent speech called out a response in the heart of the judges at the aspire talent fest her change in personality from a shy girl to a confident speaker is something commendable we hope to see our darling tapasya reach great heights in life and grow more confident with each year now for the great wise virtual stars of this academic year nothing could stop them from learning these students have been consistent in their online classes they were punctual with both timings and submissions of every assignments given they are the ones who have accepted the challenge of the pandemic and yet proven to be number 1 presenting to you the virtual stars grade 1 miss virtual star pia pillai
Grade 2 Miss Virtual Star Nawal Salim. Grade 3 Miss Virtual Star Aisha Zuna. Grade 4 Miss Virtual Star Aditri. Grade 5 Miss Virtual Star Isha Pillai. This is just one small recognition of many successes to come of your passion, dedication and enthusiasm. Congratulations for this special moment. And thank you so much, sir, for doing the honors. Ladies and gentlemen, Swayam, as you all know, stand for the young aspiring minds. Here is a short video that will brief on the aims and objectives of Swayam.
It's now time for extending our thanks, appreciation and gratitude to all those who made this evening a grand success. I welcome Shaban and Tanha to propose the vote of thanks. Gratitude is the fairest blossom which springs from the soul. A warm and cherished evening to our management committee, worthy teachers, parents, and my dear friends, and everyone gathered here. It is my privilege to propose a word of thanks and acknowledge the contribution of those who have worked hard to make this annual day celebration happen. I, Tanha, on behalf of Springbrook Primary School and the entire fraternity of the institution, First of all, extend my most sincere thanks to Almighty God for making today's event a resounding success. With His blessings and grace, we are able to do this event what it is. We are blessed and virtual presence of Mr. Samir Hassan in our annual day. I'm sure that his speech was a big moral booster for all of us. On behalf of our school, I extend a hearty vote of thanks to Mr. Samir Hassan, who spared time from his busiest schedule for, to grace the occasion. My gratitude to all the speakers for gracing the occasion and sharing their opinions today. An event like this cannot happen overnight. The wheels start rolling weeks ago. It requires planning and bird's eye for details. We have been fortunate enough by Back Dabai team, a very proactive and dedicated staff of our institution who are well versed in their jobs. A special mention to our venerable center head, Mrs. Shamima Ajmel, for being the catalyst and stimulated us to do our best and standing like pillars of strength. I thank our loving teachers for their untiring efforts. I also thank the people who work behind the scenes for the event. Technical arrangement team, stage setting, lightning arrangement team, our, and our beloved support staff. Our sincere gratitude goes to all parents and well-wishers for your continuous support and encouragement, without which our children would not have been able to achieve excellence. Thank you so much for being part of this event. I would also like to thank all the participants who made this event joyful with their outstanding performances. Our days of hard work has surely been rewarded. Last but not least, a heartfelt thank you to everyone here and behind the scenes who made this event one to remember. On behalf of our school, let me thank all the students of Springwood for your discipline and honor and all the laurels you brought to our school. We have proved time and again that we are not only good at academics, but also in extracurricular activities. We value you in every moment that you stay in this temple of learning. Thank you. There is an end to everything, but we believe that there is never an end, but always a beginning. Thus, to conclude for today, I request you all to stand for the National Anthem. Shubha Ashish Maage, Gahe Tava Jaya Gatha, Janagana Mangana Dhaya.